Ever think your love for sneakers could turn into a full-time job? Well, for some, it has. News 12 Brooklyn's Emily Lorsch was at the first ever Kick Your Game Sneaker Exposition at the Brooklyn Stide on Sunday afternoon and tells us more about the event and the sneaker world. When we first started, I said to somebody, like, this looks like a middle school dance right now because everybody was kind of shy on the wall. And um, as soon as, like, you know, the music started playing, people got comfortable with it, they started pulling out their sneakers, people started walking around, um, you know, kind of just showing what they have. New, cool, and long sought after sneakers. It's kind of become like a whole thing, like, it, between actually going to the shows, between selling to the stores, uh, then the direct person to person stuff, and then all the uh, little side projects we got going on, kick your game. It's, it's become, it's, oh, it's awesome. It's something that I love to do and it feels like, it feels like fun, but it's become a job. Adam Melly says collecting sneakers is his thing. About how many pairs in his closet? Probably between 70 and 100. Um, yeah, and then like uh, an additional, like maybe 210 that I'm selling. He says with the quick turnaround and high profits. I'm still waiting for a stock that does the same thing. With sneakers at the Kicker Game Exposition ranging in price, style, and color, it's bringing together all kinds of sneaker heads. If I'm just like, you know, have a good outfit and I don't have the sneakers to match, I'm, I'm not going to enjoy my day. And the most expensive sneaker is this one right here, the Nike Red Octobers, going for about $6,500. Everybody who gets in the game, I feel like, anybody who loves sneakers, part of it always ties back to that nostalgia. and remember being a kid and when they first came out and everything like that. We just want to encourage people to use their passion and find out how they can service their community, service the world, whatever the case may be. And as for their next project, they're bringing sneakers people donated at the event to homeless people in Manhattan on Monday. Reporting from Bedford-Stuyvesant, Emily Lorsch, News 12 Brooklyn.